Yeah, we've got a great pedestrian crossing. You push the button and a little green man comes up and it's green for we get to walk. And you can see the, while you watch the little man, you can see what the traffic's seeing and it, you know, switches from green to orange to stop. Bodhi started walking across and um, but I saw something coming, whereas it normally would stop, but it didn't. I thought he was gone. It was just loss of consciousness on, on impact. Where I lifted him, he must have been... He flew like, probably about, I'd say, yeah, we stepped it out about six metres. Um, lifeless little boy in the road and that's, that's how it happened. So it's just outside our door and... Yeah. There has been some near misses. I know neighbours around have had lots of frustration at people just running the red light. All of my, like his brothers as well, have actually all been real cautious. Like they make sure that drivers actually give them the, the flick, the signal. Um, everyone sort of commented that there's yeah too much going on over there. There's, you know, sports fields, playgrounds. It's the walkway access to several schools. There's roads close by and bus stops right there. Um, so it's very, yeah, very busy. It was like half of his body came back first. And then, yeah, one half of his body didn't until a few days later. Um, that was a bit scary. He healed at a remarkable rate. Um, like initially he'd hold onto the walls, you know, to get where he needed to go once he was standing and walking. And then um, he just, he progressed quite, quite quickly. Like he'd, you know, start hopping and wanting to do, go on the tramp and yeah.